Today is one of those days when you look at the subject matter of the video and say, I think James is insane. I can live with that. So the reason for today's video is because of this. What you can see is when I was using my yarn couching foot set, when it's this thin type of embroidery floss stroke um, crochet yarn, it doesn't always hook properly. And what I realized is if I separate the yarns, I can get this fluffy look, which is quite kind of fun. But ultimately needs to be a bit thicker. But it's always possible to have exactly what you want in the right thickness of yarn. So sometimes we have to put them together in order to get you know, look, I don't want it that thick because you lose some of the detail. So this one works, but this would be even better. Therefore, what I was trying to do is create this, which is just two, and can be done with three, but two strings, in which case it will stitch properly. And I've done it in two colors here, but can do it in one color. So here I have the free motion setting in so it drops the feed dogs. But you can see I'm just using the multipoint zigzag. And the secret here is I've raised the foot pressure as well, the foot height, so it's up to four. So what happens is it will now allow me to just pull gently and sew. And as long as I pull evenly and steadily, what will happen is we will get good stitching on the other side holding this together. I just need to unwind that. And it will do the work. So the reason we're doing this is because we can't have the feed dogs dragging underneath this because that would just dull them. But this works just fine, so if I need to make cord using this Make this will fly to lots of machine. Just drop the feed dogs and reduce the foot pressure, and you can just pull this through. And what you end up with is a nice cord on the other end, ignoring the, the thread here that I've got from when I jammed it before. But if you pull evenly, you get a really nice, nice look. And if you do it slowly, you can get a really tight. If you do it more quickly you can get almost a rickrack look. Now of course I could reduce the thread tension and then that wouldn't do the bowing like that but that is quite kind of fun on its own. So it's an alternative approach. So what I've done here, just to keep the thread separate, um, not necessary in any way, shape, or form, but it helps me, especially with doing this video with one hand. And what you can see is you just stitch along. over one second. So you could do this with a plastic foot and it wouldn't really hurt your feed dogs. It would chew up your... your foot potentially. In this case, what you can see is it just feeds perfectly smoothly. If you look in there, I'm not having to do anything except tug gently. And the machine kind of does most of it itself. Occasionally it will skid off to one side. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, but with two hands, you can make sure that never happens. Once you get a good flow going, it's really not an issue to have perfect results. 
the roller foot. So we'll skid a bit. I'm making this look really difficult, but I can assure you I'll just lower it a bit. If five is too much, it's just binding now. But it is easy to do with two hands, it's just not so fun with one. Because then you can't stir it steer it from the front to the back very effectively. Um, maybe I'll put it on the tripod and just show you that it is easy to do. I might do it like this. Go. Even with one hand and the finger in front, all you need is to drive it in the front and the back. And then it goes smoothly and quickly. And what you get out the back is this, which looks like, you know, really nice looking. So that's three wide. Um, doesn't need to be that long, but you notice it's flat. So if you do two or six or nine, you can get a really wide one if you want. In this case, I'm just doing it like that. But it's perfect. It's got it's flat, so you are literally making trimming. With two, it's it's not quite as. Uh, you know, we'll go through the the yarn coach and foot set. But it's easy to do. So I like this solution, it's kind of fun. And it works on any machine with a roller. You could even do this on a straight stitch machine. You just have to drag the threads back and forth to get them to stitch. Anyway, I thought you might find that an interesting, interesting little project to create your own trimmings and whatnot. Anyway, bye for now.